Welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the AT2. It's the Tier 5 British S um, tank destroyer, not SPG, tank destroyer, and it's located on the North Spawn, or is it the South Spawn? It's the South Spawn of Abbey, and it's also under the command of Sir Dota. And you may have seen one of his replays with this particular tank destroyer before. Now he's using the 3.7 inch howitzer. So he's got a particularly good derp capability. The uh, AT-2 is a non-turreted tank destroyer, which actually was a precursor to the Tortoise. It's an assault tank. It's designed to attack targets in front of you. It's very slow, but it's actually quite effective. And he's in platoon with his teammates as before. And they're off down to the river road rather slowly and statesmanlike. Now this is back in the days where you could actually talk to the enemy on chat. So you might see uh, chat in a different colour. That might be the enemy talking. But as we can see, Abby hasn't changed too much. But he's got his first enemy in the distance. He looks like a Churchill. He's fired around wildly off at them. It's a bit too far really but there was always a chance that he might hit them. And even his uh, his teammate behind is firing as well. Yep, he's taking aim shots. And he's actually hit that, uh, that tank up ahead. Oh my god, they just killed the Skoda T-24. Okay, whoa, what's he doing here? He's trying to push the Churchill in. My kill, my kill. <laughs> Okay, he's going after the Churchill 3. Driving as fast as he can. Not very fast, is it? But it gets there. Here comes the Churchill. Uh, the Churchill's overtaking on the straight. <laughs> but of course, Sadata's going to dirt that Churchill. And he narrowly missed him there. Now he's lining him up. Oh, missed him again. This is awkward. Come on. Ah, that's better. Got to hit this time. 112 and the Churchill's gone down. But there's enemy behind them. But they're up on the Abbey grounds and they're firing down on this uh, river road. But here comes uh, Mituf. Is that Mituf? Mituf. And oh, we've got an enemy ahead. And he got a hit. But he was badly damaged. I think actually he was tracked. Yep, he's tracked. And that uh, Type 95 is on fire. Oh, and he's burning. His health is disappearing rapidly. And I think Sonata noticed that the enemy is actually getting rather close to our camp. And they're actually firing on us as we go past the river road. Yep, there's very few people back at the camp. So with his teammate, he's turned around and he's headed back in that direction. I think they're going to try and get a reset if the enemy starts capping. And they have started capping. Now the big worry is if they actually put more than one in the cap because the AT-2 is so slow, it might be difficult for them to get back in time. Well, there's only one in the cap at the moment. There's only four tanks left on his team now. The two heavies which have gone ahead to cap at the other end. And the two AT-2s which are headed back to their cap. Well he's got 35 rounds of standard HE. He hasn't ca he's not carrying any heat ammunition at all. But HE is pretty effective in the AT-2. They still only got one in the cap, which is a bit surprising, really. Oh, we just lost one of the heavies. We lost the Type 95. And it looks like, is it Miuf? Miuf, I think it is his name. And he's just got a hit as well. He's just lost some hit points. 
Okay, we've got a Panzer 4H. Oh, he's been derped by Mio. So he's out of existence. There's a Stug in the cap. Now, can he get the reset? He gets the reset. That's a Defender Medal. Oh, he died. Yes. Or did he? No, he didn't get the reset. Or did he? No, he did get the reset. Sorry, my, my fault. He did get the reset, but we haven't got the kill. And we're bouncing round from the Stug. And Mjolf gets the kill. But there's still quite a few enemies out there. And we're the last two alive here. Because the heavy that went north has been wiped out. So it's just this platoon to save the game. And he's bouncing rounds coming in from the Abbey. And the enemy's going to have to make an assault if he wants to win. Because these two are going to defend it. Pulls forward. Can you see anything? Oh, there's the enemy. Okay. AMX 38. French light tank. 106 hit points. T46. Oh, took a hit there. And he derps him for 248. And he's repaired his track. But he didn't use his repair kit. And he's bouncing more rounds from the enemy. Now, I think he's thinking about hitting that light Viz 38. But there's the AMX 38. Oh, he did get him! He killed him! So they both got three apiece, which means they'll get a brothers in arms if they win and survive. And the Cruiser 4 and the KV-1S. Oh, KV-1S is wiped out. Beautiful derp. Going for the Cruiser 4. No, he's not locking on. His radio's gone again. It's almost like they're back to back because um, they're both defending both sides at the same time. There's the Cruiser 4. Oh, yes. Like to see that. Wins the battle. Derps the Cruiser 4 out of existence. Five kills and four kills. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And it's the first class tank for Sadata in the AT2. He also picked up a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got ten. A duelist badge for taking down two enemies that did damage to him during the battle. A fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He managed to get five in total. A fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle. A shell proof for blocking more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle. A cool headed for surviving at least ten ricochets or non penetrating penetrations in a row. Uh, Bravas in arms for getting at least three kills each. In fact, they got more than three kills each because Sadata got five and his teammate got four. And Sadata also picked up the high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle. And this is a replay from the 9th of June to 2016. So let's have a look at team score. Well, he got the highest damage, 1,334 hit points. Um, the next high score was the Churchill 3 that he was racing with along the river road, 973 hit points. And the 82 of his own, his teammate, Miuf, who managed 826. When it came to kills, it was uh, Sadato who managed to get the highest amount, 5. Miuf, who got 4. And then if you see on the enemy team, the Stug 3G that they killed in the cap, he managed to get three, so did the Panzer 4H, uh, who was also killed by Muif. Uh, when it came to base XP, it was Sadata who got the highest amount, 945, followed by the Churchill, followed by the AT2 of Muif. So let's have a look at detail report. Well, he only fired 15 rounds during that battle. He did actually lock on to a lot of those shots. He should have auto-aimed at them, and then the shot would have flown straight through to the target. But he was manually aiming a lot of the time, and that's why he kept missing the target. That's why he only had eight direct hits and seven penetrations, and one splash. He did damage 1,334 hit points. He received 15 hits from the enemy. All of them were non-penetrations. They were all bounced. Um, uh, blocked by the armor 700 hit points was blocked uh, the damage those shells that uh, bounced off his armor he spotted two enemy vehicles damaged seven of the enemy killed five of them and did damage assistance of 557 hit points on a standard account he earned 20,264 credits 
and after repair and ammunition resupply and consumables, he actually walked away with 14,346 credits. He received 945 base XP, got 19 XP because he was playing in the platoon, so he walked away with 964 experience points in total. But it was uh, using the howitzer that really counted, and it's a lot of fun, the 82, if you've got the howitzer. However, I'm afraid Wargaming did nerf the 82 considerably in later updates. So this is uh, the golden age of the 82 when it was a real terror to the enemy if it was using the 3.7 inch howitzer. So if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.